Hello everyone, my name is Thomas. My name is Gatis. And today we will play a 4x board game called The Everywhere Kingdom, made by Monument Games. It is a 2 to 5 player game, and we will do a game of two players today. So before we start, we need to play out the game area. We have already set up the game board with all the cities on the side and all the control panels in place. So now we just need to put the hexagons in place. So I will place my army symbol on there first. So you are the first who is choosing the king and the city. The first city uh, automatically becomes your capital. And uh, you are putting uh, the big uh, kingdom symbol on the capital. Uh, rest cities. Uh, gets the rest of the city gets the small one. I'm going to take religious city, please. Here you go. So now I am free to choose my place and my king. So I will put my king over here and uh, uh, my army over here. I will choose this king and uh, I'm choosing. Uh, City uh, of Porches. Uh, I'm at the seaside or uh, a location next to the sea. Uh, I can put uh, Port City only here uh, at the location next to the sea, but I can put any city here. So location next to the sea is not is not only for Port City. So when I have done that, uh, Thomas, you can uh, start the game. My idea was that I'm going to be a little bit aggressive, not at the start. I wanted to make two cities, uh, build a, a wall around them, and we'll see if I can get them done in time, and then I'll try to be aggressive, and with my king's special ability, I can get the victory points that way. I have taken a king that uh, gives me an, any resource every time someone, so, some other resource uh, burns down, uh, so basically, my, my strategy is to uh, build as many uh, cities as I can uh, at the seaside, so I can get a lot of food and exchange those food for any other resource uh, I need, so I can build my army and all other things. Okay, so my first turn, um, I'm checking my happiness position. Uh, I get a glory point according to that. I do not get any reserve soldiers. I do not get any food from a city next to the sea. And the resource that I'm going to activate will be good. So I get four. I get none. Uh, and in during my turn... Oh, I forgot. I actually also get an extra resource of my choice, which will be food. Okay. Um, and that is the end of my turn. Okay, I start my turn. Uh, the people's happiness in the middle position, the same as Thomas. Uh, uh, wi while I'm starting my turn, uh, you should end your turn. Uh, are you leaving your uh, people's happiness? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, I get one glory point and one resource of my choice. That's going to be full wood from the uh, yeah, from forest area I don't, uh, I don't uh, have connection to, but here I can take any resource of my choice. And then I don't have two completed cities, I don't get reserve soldier. I have city next to the sea that gives me one food and the area I'm activating it's uh, iron, four iron uh, I guess. And now I am ending my turn, Thomas. Um, by that, when I end my turn, I choose to uh, lower my uh, people's happiness position. Uh, that will affect me in my next turn. And uh, I don't get to choose any city cards because this city isn't complete yet. Alright, so my turn. Again, people's happiness first. Uh, that means a glory point and a resource of my choice, uh, which will be food this time. Uh, no two cities, no city next to the sea. Resource that I'm going to activate will be um, gold. So we split gold. Yeah. With me. So this turn I do build something. I build a gatehouse for two food and two wood. Can you please low gatehouse? Yeah. Here low go. gatehouse. Yeah, by building the gatehouse, uh, the city uh, counts as completed. And now at the end of Thomas' turn, he will uh, 
get to choose one of a religious city cards. Okay, I end my turn. I'll leave my happiness here. Okay, now please get a card. So, I will give you this card. Uh, so, I start my turn. Um, people's happiness uh, now is on the lowest position. So, Thomas, you get a point. And I get three resources of my choice. And one of them is uh, wood. And uh, two of them are going to be rocks. Uh, so, I don't have two completed. I have city next to the sea and the uh, resource area I'm going to uh, activate. It's uh, iron again, I get one and three burns down, but because of my king's special ability I get to choose three any resource instead of those irons. So, I will take uh, one and uh, two and I will take three. Yeah, that's done. Uh, now I'm spending uh, one boot and I'm going uh, because of my city's special ability, it's port city, I can travel with one boot uh, from any uh, intersection next to the sea to any other intersection next to the sea only by one boot. I'm standing over here. Uh, here I'm spending two rocks and two wood. Uh, that's a uh, price for a new city. It's, I can see it over here. And that new city I'm going to build is going to be a fortress. When that's done, I mark my city. And uh, I want to complete a city. So two uh, wood and two food. And I will complete this city. And now when I've done uh, that, I end my turn by taking cards of Port City. Okay, so my turn. I also get a new glory point. Uh, resource of my choice is going to be food. Uh, I don't have to complete the cities, only one. I don't have cities next to the sea. The resource I'm going to activate will be. This is a bit tough. I'm going to call wood again. So I get one wood points down. But that is okay. So during my turn I get I spend one boot. I move with the army. One, two, three, four. Uh, I play this card that allows me to put the put a city there. Any city. Yeah. Any city. I'll take market city, please. <coughs> Here you go. Actually, no. Give me a science city. Yeah. I do not have en enough resources to build. To build, or maybe I do. You can always exchange for any resource to one other resource. If you have market city, uh, mm -hmm. you can change for any to, to any other. Um, yeah, actually I will do that, I guess. So I can uh, do one, two, three, four, for one food. I spend both of these and complete my city. And that will be the end of my turn. Okay, uh, I will start my turn. Can I get two cards? Please? Yeah, I can give you these two files. Uh, you can take only one, as you know. Of course. <coughs> uh, so, uh, I give point to everyone. Thank you. Cool, and I get three resources of my choice. So, those three resources are going to be one, two, uh, are going to be rocks, and the third is going to be wood. Then, I don't have two completed cities, but I have two cities next to the sea, so that gives me two uh, fish or food. And uh, now I'm going to activate a resource area, and that's going to be uh, the field, so food. One, two, it's uh, six 
uh, altogether. So four of them burns down, but because of my king, I get four other resources. Uh, so those four other resources are going to be uh, one, two, three, and four, something like that. Uh, then I complete city. This one with a low gatehouse. Uh, then I spend a boot and I move. Uh, where should I move? I will go over here uh, and there I'm spending uh, these resources and I'm building a city and that city is going to be this science city. Now I have, do uh, I have potential domination over this region uh, and uh, I buy one boot, I travel back to my capital, I show you this card, so I get five fish for that. And uh, one, two and three other resources, because two burns down, one, two and three. So I complete this city, uh, when I've done that. I choose to end my turn. Yeah. Okay, my f my turn again. I do get a glory point. I made the mistake of not moving the people's happiness up, so um, I I do not get uh, the liberty of being aggressive, which I would love. Anyway, I do get a resource of my choice. Uh, that resource will be. Old. Um, I do have two completed cities, so I get a reserve soldier. Uh, still no fish. The resource zone I'm going to activate will be uh, gold, so I do get three gold. Okay, I get uh, three plus two here. Yeah, it's five. One, two, three, and two more. I will take these two. I spend uh, three gold uh, to use using my uh, city special ability. Uh, buying reserve soldiers for gold. The religious city. Um, I do spend the boot to go back to my capital. I spend both reserve soldiers in order to upgrade my army. And um, I do end my turn. Can I please get two cards? Yeah. You can choose a card from this from this pile. So I start my turn. Uh, everyone gets a point. I get three resources, and now the aggression is allowed because Thomas has reached the eighth point. Uh, so, uh, and these cards he gets for that. Every, every everyone who stands on this uh, point, he gets to choose the cards. Uh, but you can use those cards only when all the players has uh, one such a card. So, three resources of my choice. Uh, it's going to be. One, two, three. Then two completed cities I do have. Reserve soldier. Two cities next to the sea. And the resource area I'm going to activate. It's uh, it's basically it's field. I get seven, but I can take only four because it's too full. And the king don't save me in uh, this situation. Um, uh, so my stockpile is full. Now what should I do? So, not a bad situation, I believe. So, let's start by making two, one, one, for uh, these uh, towers around my city. Uh, then I will spend one, two, three, four to make this city stronger. And I uh, will spend these three to get one reserve soldier. I spend two reserve soldier, get army to two. Uh, to get army to three, I will need to spend three. To get to four, I will need to spend four reserve soldiers. 
uh, it's like in progression. Uh, so uh, next step I'm going to do, I'm going to exchange uh, resource. It's one, two, uh, three, four to one. And I'm going to build two of these around this city. Uh, and uh, I am so that the aggression is allowed. That's good. Uh, that's good. There's army two. And uh, there I have one. So, should I go suicide? I will buy one, two uh, boots and I will go one, two, three, four with one other boot. One, two, and three. Then I am showing you this card. You de uh, yeah, de decrease the strength of your army by one. Mm -hmm. Then I'm buying boot and going one, two, three, four. I can go, go only four steps with one boot because my uh, army is on uh, two. Uh, when it will be on a three, it's only three steps, only two steps, and only one step is one boot if the army is uh, the five. So now I'm spending four against one, one boot. And I'm moving in here, uh, so I decrease my army strength because uh, my army was only up to two, and the city uh, has two watch towers. And if my army strength is the same or lower than the strength of the city or the watch towers of the city, my army loses its strength when it goes in the city. If my army would be three, four or five, in this situation I could get in that city without any army loss. But that was not the case uh, and I forgot to do... Since, since yeah. you're in my city now, I uh, do have to decrease people's happiness to the lowest position. Yeah, and I forget to do most important thing. So my plan was uh, to go in uh, Thomas city, uh, put my king in the army and sacrifice my king. So after uh, my king is dead, uh, I can uh, get a new king in a feast and uh, there are a good card for a feast uh, in uh, the port city pile uh, but uh, I forgot to put my king in the army so right now it was uh, wasted uh, all tactic, uh, all strategy broke down so sorry for that but we'll see how it goes so I end my turn I put this one higher and I take cards from the bar to my sleeping start okay my turn again Everybody gets a glory point, according to my people's happiness. Thank you. I do get uh, three resources of my choice. Uh, there will be one gold and two stone. Uh, I do get... Uh, no, I don't get a reserve soldier, but since uh, he broke down my wall. Uh, the resource zone I'm going to activate will be wood. So I get four. Gatis gets none. Um, so my turn will be. I don't have enough reserve soldiers to upgrade the army uh, since uh, he broke down my wall. That is fine, I can still go and try to fight him. It's not the worst idea. Uh, or is it? I don't get the science city card uh, in the battle since he's in my science city and it doesn't work. I'll still go for it. I think it's still the best chance. So I spend uh, one gold to buy one boot. Uh, before I go, um, I'm going to upgrade my capital with uh, the strong gatehouse. That was these two resources. I can help you. Thank you. Um, and um, yeah, I'm going to put my king in the army. I'm going to spend the boot. And uh, we'll go and try to get him out there. So, 
I have uh, one uh, shield card because my army strength is on one. I don't have king's card because uh, I didn't put my king in my army. Uh, always you need to take surrender card. This is the only card you don't want enemy to pull out of your cards. I have uh, explosive cards because of my science city is working and I have a uh, I'm in the walls, so I have wall card, uh, but Thomas instead has peasant card, because uh, that's his city, and uh, his folks are living there. Okay. So the battle uh, of armies uh, happens like that. We shuffle uh, our cards that we have for this uh, battle, and uh, starting uh, from the player who is not aggressor, so that's Thomas, because I'm the aggressor, I'm in his city, uh, Thomas will pull out. So I have a chance, 25% 20, chance to kill him. Okay, 33% so chance to kill him. <laughs> I will do it. You missed it. You didn't. That was a bit close. That was. Okay, so uh, since I won the bot battle, I do get a glory point. I also get one reserve soldier. Yeah, basically not because you won the battle, but because you pulled out this card. Uh, if my army would be uh, stronger than one, then the battle would continue, but you still would get a reserve soldier and victory point for that. Yeah. But my army is dead. Uh, so, uh, now I do have a quick action. Uh, uh, after a battle I have lost, uh, in this quick action I can do everything I want except aggression, but I choose not to do anything. So Thomas, uh, you are free to continue your turn. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to end my turn. Can I please get uh, one of the religious city oh, cards? You are going to end your turn. Okay, so I'm starting with it. Are you leaving your... Okay. So, uh, I start my turn, my king is alive, so people's happiness in the middle position. Uh, I get one victory or glory point and one resource of my choice. That one uh, resource is going to be a uh, rock. So, uh, now I, am, I, don't, I have two completed cities, that's one reserve soldier. I have three cities next to the sea. That gives me three food, and I need to activate resource area. And now it's a uh, field again, so food. One goes to Thomas, and one, two, uh, to me, and five more other resource. It's one, two, three, four, and five. Which one is the five? Five. It's a uh, gold, yeah. So uh, now I. Um, playing out this card. This card uh, blocks every player from using reserve, every other player from <coughs> using reserve soldiers for a whole round of turns. Uh, then I spend these three resources to buy one <coughs> reserve soldier. Buy one reserve soldier. My army is alive again in a capital. I buy one boot. Uh, I'm spending uh, two rock to food to upgrade the city with a strong gatehouse. And now I end my turn. Okay, so I'm choosing cards. Okay, during my first turn, uh, since my uh, king is in the army, I do get a, a different set of um, start actions. Uh, I'm supposed to get one reserve soldier for each completed city with a strong gatehouse, but since the, this card is in action, I do not get to do that. I have, I can get three boots, which I will gladly take. Gatis gets a glory point because of my uh, people's happiness. Position. Thank you. I, know, I also get three resources of my choice. Those will be one, two. <clears throat> um, okay, now my turn is uh, spending two and two. I do get a 
wall get house. There you go. Um, we'll spend a boat and return to my capital. And this is where I end my turn. Okay. Um, two cards, please. Yeah. This pile and this pile. Here you go. So I start my turn. My king is in uh, his chambers at the capital, so people's happiness on the highest position. Three, three completed cities gives me one, two, and three glory points. Uh, I have reached this one, so I choose this card and I'm the first one who is able to use it if I want. So, Thomas took that card. Okay, I will. Take um, this card. I think that's. Uh, I continue my turn. I have two completed cities. That's one reserve soldier. I uh, have three cities next to the sea. One, two, and one resource uh, burns down. That's going to be gold. And uh, I am activating again. Field one goes to Thomas, and seven goes to me. And those seven burns down, so I can choose one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so that's good. Now, uh, this card ended at the beginning of my turn. So, but I. That's not the card. I have chosen. I have shown my tactic to Thomas. Right it's now. okay. I didn't say it. Okay. So, uh, take two, as we say. Uh, mission: kill the king. Um, <coughs> Kill your king, and uh, I'm spending one boot, and I am going one, two, three, four, five. Now I can move five. My army is weak. One more boot, and one, two, three, four steps, and I'm there. Then I'm showing this card, and that allows me to build these two defense towers and a strong gatehouse. To one of my cities, I choose this city. When I've done that, I am uh, spending like that, and I end my turn right now. Yeah. Okay, so my turn. I do get a glory point and the resource of my choice, uh, which is going to be gold. Um, I do get a reserve soldier for a completed city with a large gatehouse. I do get three boots again. Um, I already took, took a glory point and I took the resource of my choice. It was the wrong order, but guts will allow this this time. Yeah. Um, why not? <coughs> so, my turn will be. Hmm, I mixed up some, I mixed something up. Oh no, I don't think I did. It's fine. So, uh, I spend boot. Do I spend the boot? Yes, I do. Uh, and I go in here. Uh, by playing this card, I build a strong gay house there. Can I please? Yes, you can. Uh, what was next? What we do next is we spend boot again. Go back here. We spend reserve soldiers to operate our army. So now we can move um, four steps with the use of one boot. So I do spend one boot again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So that goes down. My army strength goes down by one. Um, the cards I wanted to play was I do get two of your glory points. Okay. Which, because of my king special yeah. ability, I get four. One, yeah, and two. You three, get two from four. me and two for playing the black card. Yes. 
uh, I play this card, so I do get get to pick one of his cards for myself. Good cards, they're pretty good. <laughs> um, do I want the feast card? Probably not. I'd rather I'd rather not have given this. So this goes in the pile. Two points for that. I do get two points. Um, so what's next? <coughs> I do play this card as well. Okay. That gives me two, two extra glory points. Yeah. One, two. I think we're gonna let it go for now. So yeah, I end my turn. Okay, I move cool. this up and I get two cards. So I start my turn. Uh, by being in an aggressive position with my army, so I get three gl glory points from you. One, two, three. Uh, then <coughs> my king is in the army, so I get one, two reserve soldiers for completed cities with a strong gatehouse. I get three boots, and my happiness track says that I get three glory points. <coughs> now I am. Um, moving is one boot one two three and there's one boot I'm traveling home home with the port ability army up to two army up to three uh, and uh, now I'm going to kill you I'm spending this boot and I'm going there <coughs> so surrender card uh, explosive King, one, two, three, strength of my army. Yes, okay. So this time, aggressor is Thomas, so I'm the first one. So, I take one uh, reserve soldier and one glory point for that. So, what <coughs> should I do now? Here's something not too useful for me. Yeah. And I'm uh, buying two boots. With these two boots I can go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I will do so gladly. I must do it because he will do what he will win the game. Will he? No, he maybe won't. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, now I choose to end my turn. Okay, I do begin my turn since my king is dead, died in the battle. Very unfortunate. Um, I do get the army back in my capital, and I do get to pick a new king. The king I'm going to pick this time will be this guy goes in the army. And I do put this guy on the top of my shield, that means I do not get to end the game in this turn. This will be removed at the end of my turn. Um, next start action is getting two reserve soldiers, because I have two completed cities with a strong gatehouse. I get three boots, um, and according to the people's happiness meter I also get two glory points. One for each completed city. So. Next, what we do next is we spend three gold to uh, move it there. We spend all three reserve soldiers to move our army to the strength of three. Okay, so I don't have much time because he's getting stronger and he, he will have the army up to level five, I think, next turn. I don't, I don't have much choice. I have to win this army battle and then I can, uh, I can finish the game.
I mean, I, I can get really close to finishing the game and maybe finish the next turn, but uh, it's gonna be difficult. Okay, so during my turn, uh, I, get, I play this card, so I get five resources of my choice. Cool. I will take um, four stone and uh, one food. Uh, for these resources, I will build uh, three defense towers. That is uh, one, two, and one. Can I please here? When you are building the defense towers, uh, you are building all three or less uh, if there is not enough space around it. Like here, or maybe if, uh, if his army is standing there, I can only build two of them. So now, um, all that's left for me is try to get him out of there, even though he might come back stronger, but uh, it's still probably my last chance. So, spending boot. Go ahead, it's on. So, surrender card. So now, uh, Gattis is the aggressor, so I will be able to pull the card first. Yeah, this time our armies are uh, the same strength. Three. So I have three shields, king, explosive. The same as you. Yeah. The only difference is uh, you're pulling out the first. Uh, no one, uh, none, none, none of us has uh, the king's element of uh, fire. That's good uh, for me. Uh, that he don't have it, uh, and it's bad for me that I don't have it because uh, King's Element Fire allows you uh, to return the returnable army card every time uh, opponent picks it out of my hand. <laughs> Come on, one soldier and one glory point. Come on, so. Yeah. Uh, I will put this one back in, and you can put, put all uh, both of them. Uh, when you uh, put back uh, your surrender card in your hand, uh, you can put also one of the returnable cards in the hand. But if you have fire element on your king's shield, then you take it stra straight away. I will check. So uh, I will take. How did you know? So, that's not so good anymore. No, no, that's not returnable. A returnable card is only a card with a returnable symbol on it. Yeah. I'm very excited. <laughs> because I'm not sure. Uh, do I want to die or do I want to win? <laughs> that's why I'm uh, putting uh, my surrender card uh, in the same position every time. He didn't believe me. And that was his mistake. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, so I do get one of these and one more. That's cool, that's cool, that's fine with me. So, and uh, by that uh, basically I've won the game, but uh, you will see how it happens a few seconds later. So, yeah, I do get a quick action. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything I can do in my quick action. I don't have enough resources, don't have any funky cards to play. You can uh, raise your army if you want. By raise my army you mean get it back? Yeah. Yeah. So From uh, zero to one, raise it. Yes, so um, I'm gonna spend one reserve soldier, I'm gonna get it back. And uh, do I get the king now or do I get it later? If you can spend three resources you can get the king now. Yeah, if I'll, you I'll... don't spend three resources you can wait to, till your feast. I'll, I'll, get the, I'll get the king now. Okay, and uh, put your army strength to one. Which so, yeah, just so you can end the game with the king, <coughs> so it's not so embarrassing. Okay, well. so um, what else can I do is I can play this card, that gives me two glory points. Cool. So <coughs> I start my uh, turn by taking three glory points, points from you, one, two, three, because I'm uh, one step away from your border, and uh, then I, my king is in the army, I get too many these, I get three boots and I, uh, I'm i looking at my people's happiness track and I get one, two, three. I can take two and then all I need to do to end the game. So the conditions is like that. So no one can be at your borders, so there can no be aggression uh, to you.
from other players. Uh, so basically, I've done that. Then my P uh, my glory point scale must be on the highest position. I've done that, and my king and my army must be in the capital. So all I need to do is uh, go back home. One, two, three boots. I can go fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I it's plenty. So I return my king in the in his chambers and. I've won uh, the game, good game, uh, losing to the best, it's not uh, the shame, because uh, I'm... Yeah, good game. Okay. Thank you.